Hey there, I'm Caleb Brown from X Team, and welcome back to X News Weekly. We are a weekly roundup show of tech news, programming news, video game news, and so much more. I try to find some interesting stuff that I think you may have missed this week. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. First up in gaming news, EA Sports is set to end its contract with FIFA. After a nearly three decade long partnership with FIFA, Electronic Arts announced this week they are ending their contract. They just weren't able to kind of figure out something that worked for both of them. The franchise isn't going away. It's going to be renamed EA Sports FC. If you're anything like me, you have to look up what FC stands for, which is football club. So it appears to me that it's kind of business as usual. In fact, uh, EA Sports does have the contract with some of the football teams, the majority of the teams, to keep the likenesses of the players and things like that. So it's really just the FIFA branded things they won't be able to use. But pretty interesting because for 30 years it has been a pretty well-recognized name within the franchise. And moving along in cloud infrastructure news, Cloudflare has announced D1 their first SQL database. According to Cloudflare's blog, D1 is based on SQLite. And while the article is a little light on the technical details, it looks like D1 will provide replication, read-only instances, and snapshots. So not only does this look like a pretty nice serverless database option, it shows that Cloudflare is getting serious about being a cloud infrastructure player. Next up in tech industry news, NFTs are coming to Instagram, Facebook, and more. This week, Instagram announced that it will be allowing users to connect their digital wallets and show off their verified NFTs on Instagram. Meta has also said that this feature will come to Facebook as well as Instagram stories. I also saw in an unrelated article that NFTs are coming to Spark AR. That's their augmented reality layer that lives on top of things like MetaQuest, formerly Oculus. So it's just a no brainer no matter what your kind of opinion on NFTs are. It's just a no brainer that you're seeing NFTs within this metaverse um, that that is all under the big meta umbrella. Next up, I wanted to take a second to highlight a tutorial I saw this week that I thought was really well written. It's called How to Build a Production Ready Restaurant Website with Next.js 12. And it's written by Naira Jiren. What I loved about this tutorial, beyond it being well written and, and well documented, uh, is it's a practical tutorial. If you're jumping into the world of web development, a restaurant website is something you may come across if you're freelancing. I liked that it taught you, but wasn't too theoretical. It was a practical way to get started. Just came across my desk this week and I wanted to share it with you. And lastly, I wanna wrap up this week with something kind of warm and fuzzy. I was on Stack Overflow this week and ran into a Python question asked by a new user with the username Quack e Duck. Uh, and they did a really good job presenting their question. And pretty quickly, someone with the username Simply Nick uh, responded and did a great job answering the question and uh, it really did uh, help out the user. And I just thought that was so cool. And I haven't found a way to contact Nick, but on the off chance, Nick, you're watching this, reach out to me at caleb.brown at xteam.com and we will get you an X Team shirt. And that is everything I have for you this week. For X Team, I'm Caleb Brown. We'll see you next week.